Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to go over four things you should know before you choose a smart light switch and to help you understand how smart switches work in your home and what you need to know before you purchase one of these. Now, we've got a wide variety of smart light switches right here, but this is going to be inclusive of more than just these light switches that we show. But for anything that we've got here, we've got reviews on these down below and videos that show you how to install them. The very first thing you need to know before you pick a smart switch is that you need to know if your existing home wiring has a neutral wire. Now, not every home will have a neutral wire in the light switch switch box, but most homes built during the 1980s or after will have a neutral wire in the switch box. And what is a neutral wire? Typically, it's a white wire inside the switch box that is used for carrying return current. Now, we've got a whole video in depth that shows you what a neutral wire is, how to identify it, and how a neutral wire works. So I recommend that you check that out down below. But the easy way to see if you have a neutral wire is that you need to take off the cover plate to your existing light switch, remove the switch, and look in the back of the junction box. And typically, if you have a white colored wire in there, you do have a neutral wire. And that means that you can choose any smart light switch you want for installation. Now, if you've got an older home and it does not have a neutral wire, then you need to use a smart light switch that does not require a neutral wire. And if that's the case, you're primarily limited to these two options, which is the Lutron Cassetta and the Leviton smart light switches. Both Lutron Cassetta and Leviton make smart switches that do not require a neutral wire for installation, which means they are compatible with existing home wiring, regardless if you have a neutral wire or if you don't have a neutral wire. So they will work in all homes, even if they're older or newer, and it does make it a little bit easier because they don't require a neutral wire. Even if you've got a newer home that does have a neutral wire in the switch box, you won't need to wire it up, which makes the installation process go just a little bit faster for each switch, which can make a big difference if you're installing 20 or 30 light switches in your home. The second thing that's important to note about smart light switches is I recommend you get a smart light switch that works on your Wi-Fi network. All of these smart light switches work on your Wi-Fi network, which makes it very easy to set up and means they're gonna work with your standard existing router that you've got in your home. Now, there are other communication standard options out there like Zigbee, Z-Wave, or Bluetooth communication options for smart light switches. However, you're gonna be more limited in the applications and some of that technology gets phased out with time, whereas Wi-Fi is here to stay in the ease of setting up, installing, and using switches on your Wi-Fi network seems to provide the best benefit for smart light switches and smart lighting. The number three thing that you should know about smart lighting is you wanna pick a smart light switch with the ecosystem that is going to work for you. There's a ton of different smart light switches out there on the market, but not all of them have ecosystems for exactly what you need. And what I mean by that is you wanna make sure you choose a smart lighting brand that's gonna meet the requirements you want. For instance, you want an ecosystem typically that's going to allow you to install smart light switches that are both on off, but also smart light switches that have dimmer switches. And you probably also want an ecosystem of smart light switches that allows three-way light switch compatibility, which means that you can use a light switch like you've got at the top and bottom of the stairs, where you've got two light switches that control one set of light fixtures. That's a three-way light switch. And not every smart switch manufacturer has products that are compatible with three-way light switches. So if that's something that you're interested in, you want to make sure you have an ecosystem that has that comprehensive 
different types and styles of devices that are going to work for your home. And typically, when you go with a larger manufacturer like Lutron or Leviton, they're going to have more options for devices and a larger ecosystem. So you can also get smart plugs that will work on the same ecosystem, and you can get light switches that even have motion sensors, which in some states is now required for newer home builds. So when you're looking at light switches, take a look at what other smart light switches are available within that same ecosystem and brand. And that's why I typically stick to some of the larger device manufacturers when installing smart light switches. The fourth thing I think is important to consider before you choose a smart light switch is the compatibility with other smart home devices and smart voice assistants. If you wanna have the most compatibility, you wanna choose a smart light switch that is compatible with Alexa, Siri, and Apple HomeKit, as well as Google Home. That gives you the broadest range of compatibility with smart lighting and voice assistants so that no matter what you choose in the future, you're going to be able to use that with the voice assistants that you have in your home. And once again, that's where these two brands, both Leviton and Lutron, come out on top. They are compatible with Siri, Google Home, and Apple HomeKit. Now, a lot of these other switches are also compatible with some voice assistants, but maybe not all voice assistants. For instance, the Amazon Basic Switch is a great switch for a good value, but it is only compatible with Alexa voice assistants. It doesn't work with Siri and it does not work with Google Home. Now, if you choose something like Wise, sometimes there you're going to have less compatibility as well, and the same thing goes for Wemo. But there is more switches than just this, and we've got reviews on all of those below. So check out the links below for each one of these and a specific review if you're interested in it, to help you decide if that specific smart switch is right for you. If I had one recommendation overall for most people, I would say choose one of the larger brands of smart switches because they tend to have the most users, the most support and troubleshooting. So a lot of the issues that maybe some of the newer brands of smart switches have, have already been worked out in they're on the second or third generation switch which is really fine tuned and has a lot of compatibility and ease of installation for that particular smart switch. So I've been really happy adding smart lighting to my home and I highly recommend it. The first thing you want to do to figure out what smart light switch is for you is determine if you have a neutral wire in your existing switch box. And if you want to learn how to do that, look at the links in the description below. So thank you for watching this video on four things you should know before you choose a smart light switch. If you like this video, please give us that thumbs up. If you want to support us, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.